Are Tibetan Mastiffs Aggressive and Why They're Banned in Some Countries? The Tibetan Mastiff is a huge breed of Tibetan dog. Depending on the temperature, its double coat can be medium to long and come in a wide range of colors, such as pure black, black and tan, various hues of red and bluish gray, and occasionally with white patterns on the neck, chest, and legs. Female Tibetan Mastiffs are at least 24 inches tall at the shoulder and weighs 75 to 125 pounds or more, while males must be at least 26 inches tall at the shoulder and weigh around 100 to 160 pounds or more. 1. Are Tibetan Mastiffs Aggressive? The Tibetan Mastiff is a smart dog with a strong sense of self. They can be fierce defenders and even harmful to animals or people they perceive as intruders. If they don't feel that their family or farm animals are in danger, they're rarely hostile or dangerous. Without proper socialization, Tibetan Mastiff dogs frequently develop hazardous or violent behaviors. Despite their territorial nature and general stubbornness, allowing them to interact with people and other animals on a daily basis lessens the likelihood that they will ever pose a threat to humans or other animals. Because they only pay attention to dominant owners, Tibetan Mastiffs are similar to other breeds in this regard. When training, owners must maintain their composure and convey their authority. These dogs have an innate desire to find order in a group. Even if there's only one dog in the house, they still perceive the family as a pack and will be curious about where they fit in. To get the dog to follow orders, you must demonstrate your leadership. Your dog won't exhibit erratic, unpredictable behavior with adequate training. Tibetan Mastiffs are often good with kids in their own households especially if they were raised with them. However, they typically aren't suitable for households with young children. Visitors yelling, screaming, and playing can also be misinterpreted by Tibetan Mastiffs as an indication of violence, and they frequently won't let your children's friends over. Both your personal and social life and that of your children may be impacted by this territorial need. The Tibetan Mastiff may try to restrict the number of guests permitted in the home, so, if you enjoy having lots of people over, this breed is probably not for you. What makes Tibetan Mastiffs so aggressive? First, let's review what aggressive actually entails. Even though biting dogs are the most aggressive, hostile animals frequently growl, flash their teeth, bark gutturally, attack, and snarl. There's a difference between angry and violent behavior in this situation, when aggressive behavior may result in fatalities. Several things can make a Tibetan Mastiff dog aggressive. Reinforced behavior. If a dog exhibits hostility once and succeeds in getting what he wants, he may very well repeat the behavior in the future. Dogs who are in agony will attack what's causing them pain. They can mistake it for your hand or leg. Dog aggression driven by fear. This occurs when a dog feels seriously threatened. The dog's perception is vital in this situation. Simple motions over their heads, for instance, can make them feel threatened. Forced training. When dogs experience pain, they will become more aggressive to ward off the discomfort. When the owner forces the dog to perform something they don't want to do, or conversely, frustration results. A dog's aggression after being chained or kept in a kennel against his or her will is a clear indication of this. Aggression that is territorial, predatory, or protective occurs when a dog tries to defend his puppies or house. Barking, lunging at fences, and even dog on human attacks have all been reported as a result. For Tibetan Mastiffs, this is more typical. Resource guarding. Dogs may utilize their instincts as dogs to defend a specific resource. These characteristics include some sensible ones. Toys, food, and other logical attributes exist alongside illogical properties. It's also more common for these dogs to exhibit this kind of hostility. And there's not enough peace and order among the dogs in multi-dog families, social violence is frequently the result. Tibetan Mastiff Attacks Worldwide If you search on the internet, you can find many results about Mastiffs attacking humans, but aggressive Mastiff behavior toward humans is less frequent than aggressive behavior toward other dogs. They can turn unsafe in certain situations. Although your Mastiff will mostly refrain from attacking you from an upright position, bites can still sometimes happen, and they're typically the result of inadequate communication. The following factors can make Tibetan Mastiffs aggressive toward people. Violence in training, abuse, or neglect. 
This attitude may result in fear-related aggressive conduct. Avoid getting bitten by learning how your dog interprets your body language and signals, such as looking into their eyes, or abruptly touching or reaching over their head. Perceived risk and poor interactions included. There's news that Tibetan Mastiffs attack dogs and other animals. There are some reasonable reasons for those attacks by Mastiffs. It's similar to other dogs or other animals attacking humans and animals. How to prevent Tibetan Mastiff aggression. Consult an expert dog behaviorist if the behavior is out of control. Whenever necessary, avoid approaching other dogs. Be friendly and warm to your animal pet, especially when they're young. You should effectively teach your Mastiff commands to rapidly end aggressive behavior. Give your Tibetan dog a lot of physical activity and excitement. 2. Are Tibetan Mastiffs banned and why? Tibetan Mastiffs are allowed or forbidden. It depends on the country in which you reside and how they feel about the breed. Despite being devoted companions, Tibetan Mastiffs are nonetheless prohibited in some places. Their size is one of the most frequent justifications for the prohibitions. These dogs are challenging to control and can weigh up to 150 pounds. Some nations have banned it just because the breed is not traditionally used. It's frequently prohibited to own a dog of a breed that's not indigenous to the nation because different nations have particular breeds that are popularly kept. Due to their temperament, several dog breeds have additional restrictions on ownership. For instance, several nations don't allow livestock guarding dogs, which are normally used to protect cattle. Tibetan Mastiffs are only dangerous and violent if they've received inadequate socialization and bad care. This is a possibility to think about if you're an experienced dog owner searching for a strong and intimidating breed that is passionately devoted.